we are at 50 km from Belgavi at a place called Kittur and we are heading for Kittur Fold. The famous queen of Kittur, Rani Chennamma, had a palace inside the fort. Kittur ki Rani Chennamma, to Kittur ke kille ke andar ham log aaye hain abhi. Ek bhui koot mil raha hai jaise bataya. Rani Chennamma was born 14 November 1778 at Kakti in a Desai family. She married Raja Malla Sarja of the Desai family of Kittur at age 15. She received training in sword fighting, horse riding and archery from a young age. Her husband and only son died in the span of eight years and Britishers wanted to take over the princely state of Kittur. But Rani Chanimma flatly refused and the war broke out. First time she defeated the forces of British and they suffered heavy losses. Again she was attacked by British forces and this time she was captured and prisoned in the fort of Bailhungal. She is held as first female ruler who rebelled against Britishers. Her statue is installed in front of parliament. Fort was built on a plain land called Bhuikot. It had water trench all around the fort. Kittur ka kille ka Kittur court ka ye Pashimi dwar hai aur ye Rani Channama ki Baduri ki gata aage bhi batate hue ye kille ki dwar hai abhi bhi majboot ise khadi hai Fort is under archaeological survey of India Fort is having a museum which was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in 1967. This is must visit place in the fort and there are many articles and objects dating back to Satwan era. After seeing the many stone articles, war senses, deities, you can link this area with Satwang, Chaluka, Rashtakut, Vijayanagaram and later on with Mughal and Rani Channamma. This museum takes you back thousand years and also you understand how develop the art was during that period. Many articles now also we don't understand how they have made that work. Here you can see this Gajalakshmi, Chapardan Hanuman and Saptamatruka which are believed to be male power in the female body. Many water tanks having Formation of seven tanks together are called Saptamatruka on the forts in Maharashtra. Grain grinding stones and other equipment like weapons, guns and swords used by the warriors are kept in the museum. Also there are old coins and other races they wore. All this gives us idea of life during that time. This Viragar or Euro stones as it is called gives us lot of information about the life during that period. Here you can see it is called Gajalakshmi. It seems the people were worshippers of Shiva and Vishnu. So there are many idols kept in this garden. Many of them not in good condition, damaged or might have been destroyed by the invaders. This is a one example of that. Look at this warrior Hanumanji. I think all of them considered 
him as a hero. All the forts you can find the temple of Hanumanji. Here also now we are going to visit this Hanuman temple. Temple is closed now, but you can see inside black stone idol is there. Here is a fine example of security standing tall at the side of Hanuman Mandir. If the main walls of the fort are breached, this was one more like Bale Killa or Citadel where they can assemble and keep fighting with the enemy. This is a almost round and strong fort-like structure made at center of this fort. This could have been also used as a watchtower. They had a commanding position to fight from the top with the enemy coming from all the sides. There are remains of Rani Chennamaj palace inside the fort. Once, once it was a royal palace and a three-story structure. Now also there are many walls and standing structures. You can make out how lavish and strongly built the palace was. Because of her revolt, she became hero of Karnataka people. She also became the symbol of India's independence movement. Her Sardar Sangoli Rayana continued the guerrilla war till 1829 until he was captured and killed. After hearing that news, Rani Chennamma lost all the hope of getting her kingdom freed from the Britishers and it is said she ended her life in the prison of Bailhongal in 1829. What remains now is only some walls and pillars of the massive palace at this Isko bolte hai secret discussion room. Marathi, Marathi mein bolte hai khalwat ka na. Uske andar bana hua ye mahal. Teen majli tha pehle. Bahu saare room bane hue hai. Abhi pure khandar mein hai. A postal stamp by Indian government was released in 1977. Also, there is a Coast Guard ship called Rani Channamma that was commissioned in 1983. There is a train running between Miraj and Bangalore, which is called Rani Channamma Express. One of the room wall had a provision to watch the North Star, which is called Pole Star, which doesn't change its position and remain at same place any time you see in the sky. And he said bathroom and toilets. Swimming pool and some water chambers for horses. Base of the building or palace was made of stone. Other top construction was done with the bricks and plastering was done. Now also remains of arch. Doorways and walls can be seen. Both the side of the palace, there were tall stone built towers for installing the guns. There are some more statues kept in open. We don't, we don't know who were they. East side of the palace, there are many remains of buildings are seen. This was the place for the soldiers and other officers to stay. Now we have reached eastern side gate of the fort. The gate was strongly made and it had both the side watch towers to guard the fort from enemies. The town this side of fort is called Somwarpe and that is part of Kittu. What gate you see this side? This is the eastern gate for the palace. The place was also guarded with the strong walls. Kittur Fort was a boycott or it was built on a plain ground but it had a strong walls and because of that it was very difficult to take over this fort. There is a Durga temple inside the fort. 
the renovation of the temple is done by the village people do like and subscribe my youtube channel namrata's wholesome mantra thanks for watching my video he died at fort belongal her statue is made on the samadhi at that place thanks for watching my video do like and subscribe